sports, 100% reflected. Sometimes it's Raven. Sometimes it's other teams affected. Hold on tight, strap in. It's gonna get hectic. Couch Rider Report, an original sports perspective. Woo. Welcome back to the home of original sports perspective. From our couch to yours, this is your host, the Couch Rider Raven, Jermaine Lockett. Hey, welcome back. I appreciate you. I'm tired because I just got finished running John Harbaugh's conditioning test. I started at the end of the last video and just finished this. I just finished this video. It was it was tough, y'all. It was tough. I'm sweaty. I'm nasty. Now I'm gonna be real with y'all. I just came back from a, just a regular run. I didn't run that test because I, I don't think I would have made it. They would put me on IR real quick. I owe some of y'all some apologies. You know, in the last video, I was talking crazy. Apparently, I didn't know. Uh, about who missed what catch and if somebody tore an ACL, if it was just a knee injury. Apparently, I'm CNN fake news in it over here. My apologies. In fact, somebody unsubscribed from me because they were so upset. Look, man. For the, you, you the one, the one person who unsubscribed. Do me a favor. Come on back, man. Come on back. I need every last one of y'all. I'm trying to retire here. You go over here messing up the rotation. I love all y'all, man. I appreciate you. Every last one of you out there. Today... I wanted to talk to you about the competition, the leg up. And, hey, obviously I got some things wrong in that last post, especially about James Prochet. Somebody must have told him that I posted something up saying he wasn't going to make the final roster. And he found out the secret ingredient to training camp is stacking. Play on top of play on top of play and practice on top of practice. So if you had to look at the competition right now, as it is, if we're talking about Proche versus Boykin, Proche's got two practices stacked on top of Boykin's zero as far as winning those practices. So two practices down, and Proche has performed better in both practices than Miles Boykin. Now, if you look, in, look on Twitter, just take a look at Twitter and you can type in the name Proche and you'll see all the highlights. You'll see every single time somebody mentioned his name. He made plays on Jimmy Smith, according to uh, Schultz on Twitter, according to Jameson Hensley on Twitter. Not Twitter. Twitter. <laughs> they were raving about James Proche. He had two end zone touchdowns. Big time plays. I mean, yeah, there was some on Dorsey. You can see Dorsey all over the tape on this one, so it lets me know he might be hitting the streets pretty soon as well. But the way that Proche is playing right now brings the question, okay, he may not be cut, but is he going to be on the Ravens roster come week one? Y'all probably like, where is he going with this, man? Proche just showed up today. Yes, he's showing up big. But is he showing up big for somebody else's team right now? Is he playing himself onto another team's roster? You got to ask yourself that. Like, Baltimore has got some killers out there. You saw Hollywood on day one. Holly, Holly came out there and ran a route so precise, so beast on the nine, and created so much separation, you could put Forrest Gump's park bench in between him and the defender. That's how big of a route he ran. Or how fast he ran it. Big boy plays. Now, I want you also to pay attention to something else that was said yesterday on the press conference by Hollywood. Holly said that G. Rose running the same thing <laughs> that he ran last year. Go listen to the presser. Holly said they, they run the same things. We just got to run them better. Okay. I'm really hoping that's not true, folks. I really hope that they're opening up a playbook and they're expanding the offense as far as what the receivers can do and how they can do it. Maybe, you know, maybe we were wrong. Maybe T. Martin and Keith Williams are legitimately there just to teach how to run it and G. Rose still taking over the playbooks and coming up with those basic routes. Sounds sounds dangerous to me, I'll be honest with you. It, it sounds like that they're going into the season with the same offensive schemes that they had last year. I could be wrong. It could be just speculation. It could be just Hollywood talking. And maybe they're hiding some things before week one. I'm just saying. It could be that way. But, you know, what? I ain't even going to 
stress on Hollywood too much. Today is Pro Shades Day, and today is for me to admit that hey, maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm off a little bit when it comes to James Pro Shades. I like the guy. I really do. I just think that he might be playing himself so well that he's playing himself onto another roster. And Eric DaCosta is like, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, another draft pick, another lottery pick from another team as he trades away Proche. He may be playing himself into a trade, so just keep that in mind and just watch this guy as he continues to light it up because he has a great deal of talent. Just the question is, is, is it for our roster or is it for another team? This is the home of Original Sports Perspective. From our couch to yours, this is the Couch Rider Raven. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe, and smack that bell. And if you unsubscribe, come on back, baby, please. Come on, come on back. <laughs> Peace.